said, take me back. Uh, I grew up in a wonderful home with two dedicated and loving parents, uh, one of uh, five brothers and sisters. A home where we as, our, as children were the focus of, of my parents' lives, parents who did not drink, they did not smoke, there was no gambling, there was no physical abuse or fighting in the home. I'm not saying this was leave it to beaver. It wasn't a perfect home. Well, no, I don't know that such a home exists, but they looked at me and they looked at the, you know, the, um, the all-American boy. Uh, I was okay, okay, uh, I was. Uh, I was essentially a normal person. I had good friends. I, I, uh, I led a normal life. But as a young, uh, a young boy, and I mean a boy of uh, 12 or 13, certainly, uh, is there enough time to explain it all? Uh, I don't know. I think I understand it, though. Understand what happened to me, uh, to the extent that I, I, I can see how certain feelings and ideas uh, developed in me to the point where I began to act out on them. Well, I won't kid you to say that it's something that I feel that I'm in control of or something that I've come to terms with because I haven't. It's a moment by moment thing. Sometimes I feel very tranquil and other times I don't feel tranquil at all. That is a very delicate point in my own development and we're talking about something we're talking about having reached a point or a, a, a gray area that's that jumping off point where you begin to wonder if, if maybe actually doing it will give you that which is beyond just reading about it or looking at it. I'm on that edge and these, the last, the, the, you might say the last vestiges of restraint, uh, the barriers to actually doing something were being tested constantly. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very difficult thing to describe. Uh, uh, the, the sensation of, the, the, uh, of, of reaching that point where, you, where I knew that it, it was like something had, say, snapped, that I knew that, uh, that I couldn't control it anymore, that these barriers that, that I had I had been, I had learned as a child, uh, that had been instilled in me, were not enough to hold me back with respect to seeking out and, and harming somebody. Building up of, of this destructive energy, a very violent and very destructive feat, a compulsion is just too terrible to describe. It's just absolutely no way to describe. dramatize it, but to have been possessed by something so awful and so alien, and then the next morning wake up from it, remember what happened, and realize that basically, I mean, in, in the eyes of the law, certainly in the eyes of God, you're responsible uh, to have to wake up in the morning and, and realize what I had done, and with a clear mind, and all my essential moral and ethical feelings intact at that moment, uh, uh, absolutely horrified that I was capable of doing something like that. For the record, you are guilty of killing many women and girls. Is yes. That yes, that's true. Ted, how did it happen? Take me back. What are the antecedents of the behavior that we've seen? so much grief, so much sorrow, so much pain for so many people. 